I'm Erin Spinagle here at Marlowe Elementary School. Join me today as we learn about some of the teachers here at the Home of the Musketeers on this edition of Be the Difference, West Virginia. We're here in Amber Miller's kindergarten classroom. She teaches kindergarten here at Marlowe Elementary. Hello, Amber. How Hi. are you? Good. How are you? Tell me a little about yourself. Well, I um, like to call my, my family a transplant family. My mom was born in Alabama. My dad is from California. My brother was born in California. I was born in Chicago, and then we ended up here in West Virginia. So we've got all the corners of the United States, you know, kind of um, covered. So we've lived here since I was seven, so I consider myself a true West Virginian. Um, but I went through the school system in Berkeley County, went to Hedgesville High School, then I stayed local, went to Shepherd for college, graduated in 2008, and then 2012 I got my master's from WVU, and then I've been in kindergarten for six years. So what made you decide to become a teacher? I, I laughed because all my teammates were like, oh, I knew I wanted to do this since I was little. I didn't. I didn't know that I wanted to do it, and when I look back, I think, 17 is so young to decide what you want to do with the rest of your life, but I got so lucky and so blessed that I picked right. You know, I remember sitting in my classroom one of the first weeks of my first year, and you know how chaotic your first year is, and you think, I just remember sitting there during calendar time, we're singing songs, and I was like, this is it. Like, I picked right, this is what I want to do. I was like, I get paid to sing and to dance and to be with kids, which I love to do anyway, so the shoe fits. Now, you are a former Miss Berkeley County, and you were also a runner-up to Miss West Virginia during your time in the Miss America organization. One of the things that you do as a candidate for um, Miss West Virginia is you create a platform. How did your platform, or how has your platform carried over into your professional career? Well, my platform actually came birthed out of the same passion for children, and it was all about mentoring. And um, so now, it was a platform, but now it's my everyday, ordinary life. It's what I do because through that platform, I think I carried in with a teacher so many things that they realize is that you are a mentor and you're raising humans. You're not just an educator. You're not here to just teach the curriculum. These are human beings that you're getting ready to release out into the world. So you want to do everything that you can to be an impact in their life and to be an agent of change in their life before they go out into the world. First teacher, what do you, what do you enjoy about being the first teacher that they ever have in a school setting? I love the, the innocence that they bring. Um, sometimes, you know, we get so wrapped up in this world and there's so many pressures that we have on us or so many um, norms that, you know, we're kind of forced into or um, I think I just love the innocence, you know, that we can sit here and a kid can come in in their pajamas because they have no other clothes and it's not, oh my goodness, you're wearing your pajamas. It's like, I wore those last night. That is so cool. Like, I have those and it's, you know, no one has gotten to them yet. No one's told them that that's not cool or that's not okay. And I love that innocence about them, and I think it inspires myself because I think, wow, to, to just be like a child again and just have none of those impacts that the world brings on you. Well, what's something that you're doing in your classroom yet, right now that you're excited about or that your stu students are very interested in learning? I absolutely love this time of year doing apples. I know that that's, you know, kind of a unit that a lot of people do, but we get so into it, just learning about Johnny Appleseed and just apple experiments. Last week we did a browning, you know, what, how does it brown? Does it brown faster in the lemon juice or sitting out or in the water? And just stuff like that that they just dive into. It's hands-on. They're so into the learning, and it's just, you can see the light bulb go off in their head of like, oh my goodness, like, I remember at my house there was an apple that was sitting on the counter and it was brown, or I had apples in my lunch, and because we cut it, it's brown. It's just so cool to have those moments where they put all the puzzle pieces together and they get it. What's something that you wish that the public understood about teaching or education in general? I think people understand that teachers don't teach for money, but I, what I think they don't understand is how much we care. Um, because it's not just being an educator, it's not just being about a caring educator, but people don't realize that we're a hairdresser. When our kid's hair falls out, we are a, the ultimate shoe tire in kindergarten, you know, we're a therapist, we're mom, you know, we're there when they're sick, you know, coddling them and just helping them through. There's so many different hats that we wear that it's so much more than just about education. Like I said before, I mean, we're nurturing human beings and we really realize that and I just people, wish that people understood how much time educators take outside of school. Um, I think people are saying that, but people don't realize that people are here till 6 p.m. and they, they wake up, you know, at 5 to get into, into school and just to prepare because they care so much, not because they want people to recognize them for what they're doing, but because they believe in the people that they're teaching. 
We're here in Krista and Matrudo's classroom. She teaches second grade here at Marlowe Elementary. Hello, Krista. How are you? Good. How are you? Tell me a little about yourself. Um, I am from Connecticut. This is my seventh year of teaching. Um, I received my undergraduate degree at Southern Connecticut State University in elementary education and also a bachelor's in psychology. Um, I have my master's from WVU in special ed and I'm currently working on my admin certification at w WVU. So. So what made you decide to become a teacher? Um, I've had so many influential people in my life. I had outstanding teachers and coaches from when I played sports, and I saw how much of a difference they made in my life, and I really felt that that was something I had to give back to wherever I was living now in West Virginia. At the time, you know, when I was in Connecticut, I knew right away from high school, I'm going to be a teacher and I have to give back. So, so what is one of your favorite things about being in the classroom with students? Um, I love kids. I love their reaction when they learn something. Um, I just love being influential and helping them grow and learn about themselves and learn about the world. And it, it really is a passion that I've always had. And it's something that's really close to my heart that um, you know I just go with on a daily basis. And I'm happy with it. So, <laughs> what what are some of the things that you're doing in your classroom right now, or something that you enjoy? doing with your students to get them excited about learning? Um, I really take a hands-on approach. Um, you know, the more we move around, the more we're, we're active in the classroom, I feel that they learn better. Um, I also try to make sure they have some sort of real-world application with what we're learning. Instead of just regurgitating things out of a textbook, you know, I have conversations with them almost like they're mini adults and we talk and we, you know, think about the big picture of things and uh, it helps them to just really enjoy it and have fun. Um, one of the things that we're doing right now is we're doing a big pumpkin investigation and we're digging deeper with pumpkins and today we identified parts and we labeled diagrams and for some kids that can be pretty boring but they are having a ball with it so we're, we're, we're having a good time in here. So. so what are some of your future plans for yourself as an educator within the school system? Um, I definitely aspire to be an administrator. Um, three quarters of the way finished with my program at WVU. Um, eventually, I hope to work for the State Department just to kind of get, again, the bigger picture of things um, and give back to the state the way that I've been able to, you know, give to my district, so. If you were to give advice to a newer teacher, what would it be? Um, just not to be too hard on yourself. Um, things are never going to be perfect. A lot of times we write lesson plans and we don't stick to them because we are, you know, taken down a different road or we have a teachable moment and we feel like we need to go with it and um, you know sticking to a lesson plan really is unrealistic sometimes and just be yourself you know get a good rapport with the kids and find their interests and go with it um, you know I think the kids learn better when they're excited about what they're learning about and they have a high interest in it and you know just have fun it's all about having fun <laughs> what's a misconception about teaching that you wish that you could clear up for the public um, sometimes I don't really think that people realize how hard we work and how much passion we have for what we do and how much we really care about the kids. Um, you know, a lot of us go home every night and we try to leave our personal feelings at the door, but sometimes it's really hard to do that. Um, and I, you know, I, I hope everyone understands that this is a passion for a lot of people. We definitely don't go into it for a salary or anything like that. It's, it's just, it's passion. It's part of who we are. That's all for this edition of Be the Difference, West Virginia. Join me next time as we learn more about the teachers here in wonderful Berkeley County. Until then, I'm Erin Spinagle, reminding you to be different, but more importantly, be the difference. I'll see you soon.